So as the reading roulette reader grievances started rolling in, I noticed a troubling pattern in which one of my pet genres was much maligned. And so I decided that someone needed to stand up for it, and it should probably be me. So I'm bringing out the big guns and going back to the books that granted I read quite some time ago, but they have stayed with me till then. And I do not hesitate to proclaim them the best historical fiction that I've ever read. Um, and you're nervous because I said books and you think, how much am I going to have to read here? Um, and it is a trilogy. Um, the first book is called The Many Lives and Secret Sorrows of Josephine B. And this is truly quick flash, book two, Tales of Passion, Tales of Woe. Book three, The Last Great Dance on Earth. Now, I promise, for the purposes of the challenge, you only need to read the first one, and if you truly hate it, you can bail. But I think that's pretty much impossible, so we'll just continue to talk about the trilogy as a whole. Basically, what we have is we have the diaries of a girl starting around age 14, where she's an innocent, and she just thinks that she might never get a husband, and we follow her, um through the French Revolution, where she is this great observer, sometimes from the sidelines, and then eventually, right from really from the heart of things, when she becomes the wife of Napoleon, one of the most powerful men on the planet. And, okay, that's a bit of a spoiler, but really, historical fiction, spoilers don't apply. Anyway, um, I know you're thinking, like, oh, just romance and court, you know, court intrigue and the same old thing. But that is doing it a huge disservice because it is so much more than that. This is one of the juiciest, most fascinating periods in history. And not just French history, all history. The first book deals mostly with the reign of terror. Napoleon doesn't even come on the scene till the end. The second book going uh, goes through his rise and, of course, the third one, his fall. And so what emerges is... Um, an incredible tale, and one that has been meticulously researched. Gullin spent 10 years researching and writing these books, and it shows. And even some of the more incredible elements of the tale I discovered as an eager undergrad actually hold up, which is just, like, even more remarkable. Um, so why read this book? Um, well, it's a love story and an extraordinary one at that, if often heartbreaking, but it's also a tale of idealism and violence, of, of hope and betrayal, of, of the corruption of absolute power. There is so much going on here. It's really like an elaborate dance, and Gullin does a marvelous job at capturing it, at turning a fascinating historical period into a riveting read, and one that might just actually leave you heartbroken, or maybe not if you're not quite the soft guy I am, but I think for most people it does. Um, and if nothing else, one day you're going to surprise people with answering some wicked Jeopardy questions. So read it. I dare you.